Yes, sir. Big Stewie checking in, man. Trapping out the trap piles. I got some black excellence in here. Some black beautiful women in here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Risha and B. Simone checking in. Yeah. What's up, ladies? How y'all doing? I haven't seen hey. you in so long. I haven't seen you in a minute, too. You've been getting to that money, girl. Getting to it. Trying I to keep it. I seen you do the comedy thing and everything like that. What, what was it like jumping out in comedy? Because uh, you've always been a fool. Yeah, it was dope. It was dope. I never wanted to do stand up, but y'all got to try stuff. You never know. You like something till you try it. And so, I love it. So, what would you tell people? Because I think a lot of stuff in your career, you kind of just like. I could do it. I could do it. For, I could for do sure. It. All the time. I could do it. I could do it. Oh, <laughs> Literally. Can you dunk? I could do it. I can do it. I'm going to figure it out. What? I just started taking Spanish class. I have a tutor. I start with her next week. I'm going to be fluent within a year, and I'm going to do a stand-up comedy special in Spanish. Wow. Mark my words. You were the first one to ever hear this. That's hard. I'm going to do a stand-up comedy special in Spanish. Come on, man. Watch. I'm going to be there. I'm going to know what I'm saying. I'm going to be laughing like a mom, though. I just like to push my limits. Man, I like I'm to push my that. limits. So what, what drives you? What's your, what, I mean, what drives you and push you to just always continue to go to the next level? Like, you know, we always hit ups and downs yeah. and bumps and bumps and all type of stuff yeah. in the road. But what makes you keep going? I think it's purpose. When you find your purpose, and of course, I, Will Smith said this in his book, desire involves self, purpose involves other people. So I see my purpose helping other people, helping my family, motivating people. That keeps me going. So okay, okay. finding my purpose. All right, Ms. Reese, what about you? Because you, you, you girl. up and coming in this, in this, man, let everybody know what you do. Cause you're behind real. the scenes and you own the scene at the same damn time. What's going on, Risha? <laughs> oh, it's a lot. Um, I sing. I act. I produce. She produce. I produce. Um, I executive produced this amazing show called Finding Happy Yay. with Miss V. Simone as our lead. And she murdered it. Like, I'm so, in- I told you this, I'm so impressed. Like, I was already a fan. This is my first lead role, so I was really scared. She I was really did. nervous. That's dope. So, Risha, so, so how did you get into this? You know, how did you get involved? Because actually, we've been knowing each other since we were younger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Actually, ladies and gentlemen, if y'all just now tuning in, Risha is the reason why I was on Johnson, she told me that, hey, I think you could do this Yay. acting role right here. I'm like, I can't act. You killed it. I can act I a saw, fool. I saw that I clip. It. I, I saw that it. clip. So yeah. what makes you like just go out there and just try to find new faces, you know what I mean, Like, and young talent that maybe yeah. have never even done it before. It's just like, just try it. I yeah. think that's the important thing to do. Like you said, it's all about helping people. And I know so many talented people who just need that opportunity. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If I'm in a position to where I see talent and I'm, I can make a decision or I can... Um, sway a decision or encourage a decision. I'm going to do that yeah. because we need opportunity. Yeah, I need and we need somebody folk, new faces, exactly. fresh faces. Fresh yeah, faces. I'm so tired. Of, although I love all the people who've been around for 20 years, we need to see other people, and there are tons of people out there. And so that's my goal is to always break whether it's music, new music artists or actors or whoever it is, that's always my goal. Let's okay. Go. okay, so so what you be like? So so first Lee Row. Yes. How was it? Oh my gosh. How I was don't it? I've been on tour with Martin Lawrence. I mm. hosted Will Smith's birthday in Budapest. This was the first time I ever cried when I got the news about something. Wow. Ever in my career. Like cuz I'm the type of person that I'm like, okay, I got it. Thank you God. What's next? Like I move on so quick and that's a good and a bad thing, but with this I was like bawling when they called me. They were like, "You're yes. That's my character. I mm. play yes." And she's um a young woman in Atlanta. She's 36. She's Trying to find her career, trying to find her relationship, her man, her life. She's single and she's still not still not where she wants to be in her career. And um, I think that's relatable for a lot of black women right. in, in the culture right now. You know, times have changed. You're 36. Sometimes you don't have kids. You don't have a family. And society looks at you like, what are you doing? Right. And I don't think uh, times have changed. You don't have to have it all together at a specific age. Right. Everybody is going to get their blessings at a different time. So y'all will see that in this show. So how hard was it for you to get in character? Because that sounds like, I mean, just, just knowing you for a long time and just being your friend and being in your yeah. life. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of pieces of you in this particular yeah, character. You know what I'm saying? It just kind of like finding this, the finding boyfriend, that. The yeah, boyfriend and like, yeah, yeah, the career. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So how, do you, how, I mean, how, how was it getting as a character? It was, it was, I would say it challenged me in certain areas because certain moments I had to be very serious. I had to cry. Like the director would be like, nah, I'll do that over. Or not nah, do it like this, or think about this, and I'll be like, "Okay, like that take must not been that good." Or right. you know what? I'm not saying it wasn't, but they wanted to see different um, aspects of me as an actress, and it showed my range. So I feel like this was a great role for me to show my range. I'm not just goofy and the loud ghetto black girl all right. the time. A lot of roles that us black women get, you know, the stereotypical roles. Um, it showed a different side of me. So right. I'm excited about that. So 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 moving forward, like have you ever did acting class before? Is this something yeah. that's also oh, you have done acting yeah. class before? Not consistently, right. but yes, I would love to get in it consistently. Um 
virtually. I found an acting coach in L.A. I want to work with her. So I'm really, you know, But this is your it. first role before acting, like before like really just getting. Yeah, I mean, my first lead role. Mm. I've done little movies here and there. Like I've done BET films. Right. I've done VH1 movies. I've done independent but all films. all you is just different. Yeah, mm. when you're number one on that call sheet, like you hold a lot of the energy. You, hold, you know, you want people are looking at you to make this show successful, mm. you know, and I'm like. Come on, y'all! Like, let's get it. Let's, <laughs> let's get, it, going. get it. You know, so it's it's a lot of pressure, but I, I did very well, I think. So. so, so how do you deal with the pressure? And I'm asking both of y'all just deal with the pressure of being black women in today's society, where society expects so much of you, mm-hmm. but yet doesn't respect you like they yeah, should. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And on top of like just having to live up to the Joneses, I'm seeing a lot more suicides and stuff like that on on, on Instagram, Man. which I think that it's kind of a bad thing because I feel like Instagram is a lot of the reason why people feel like they have to the be comparison. somebody that they're not and compare comparison. their lives to everybody else's. Like, yep. I remember at one point, you didn't know how Will Smith lived unless you, you watched on, well, well, like, look watch at Chris. TV, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Or you found him randomly, the paparazzi put him in a magazine and right. you didn't see him every day on social media. So how do you think that affects us as black people and how do y'all deal with it? You wanna, Come on, Risha. Yeah. You know, really being grounded and knowing who you are is yeah. important. Like, being in L.A., I live in L.A., if you don't know who you are, yeah, no they'll tell you like who you that. are. They will tell you who you are, and they might try to belittle you and make you think you're not who you are. Yeah. Mm. And they might try to sway you into doing things that you really don't want to do. Mm. And so I think that, you know, being um, very centered and uh, very clear yeah. about who you are, who you are, yeah. a believer, who you are, and what you're capable of doing like that is essential. Yeah. And that will keep you from committing suicide. Yeah. From going into depression or if you do go into depression, not staying there. Yeah, mm-hmm. coming out. Exactly. So that's what I was saying. Yeah. What about you? I, I think a lot of it is just focusing on the truth. My best friend mm-hmm. says this all the time. What is the truth? Mm-hmm. The truth is, like you see all this stuff on social media. The truth is people are using filters. Mm-hmm. The truth is that's not her real body. The mm-hmm. truth is mm-hmm. she goes through problems too. The truth mm-hmm. is she has ups and downs too. Like you look at people's highlight reel and you think their life is so perfect, but Focus on the truth, not the facade of social media. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the truth is we all go through stuff. We all have ups and downs. We all have dark moments. But, you know, that's not all portrayed on social media. That's why on my page, I show y'all. Like, right now, I don't. y'all can't see me, but I don't know if you're going to see this. But I don't have on makeup. I have my short little hair. Like, sometimes I'm going to step still out. Look good, though. Right. But Except I, I think people that just need to accept that for who they are. Yes. Like, either you and take I show like both. I am or... There's a time hey. and a place. Sometimes I'm going to throw on a wig, throw on a full face of makeup, go out with my heels. Other times I'm going to throw on... You can see both on my social media because I want young girls to see that. Like, y'all have seen me in the gym for a year. I done had so many consultations for a BBL. I'm right. not even going to lie to you. Right. And I'm just like, oh, I'm about to cry. Why am I about to cry? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm like, <laughs> but because I'm thinking about like my little sister and the younger right. generation, like y'all really have to come to terms with reality and reality mm. is in that mirror. Reality is not on social media. Like mm. I've worked my butt off in the gym. Cause I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Like, cause you deserve it. Cause you deserve it. And you look, and if you do it, do it for you. Facts. I'm not Facts. saying anything is wrong with surgery. I'm not saying anything is wrong with wanting to have on makeup. Do it for you. Don't do it because you're trying to keep up with this facade and this fake image, you know? So, and I, I feel like if you do it for you, use it. Those are the bodies that look like normal bodies. Right. <laughs> the ones that do it for others. For the trend. Yeah, the trend. It's trend yeah. And now it's going out of style. Cousin don't don't yeah, do guys, stuff when it's a trend. A lot of guys don't like it. And a lot of girls that I'm seeing are getting their ejections taken They're out. They're getting it like, taken out. They're having health issues. Yeah. yeah, you know. So you don't wanna you don't wanna go that far. Just start with the self love, loving yourself and you know, you you won't take it to that level. Yeah, and I always encourage people like ladies too, like I mean, it's stubborn fat, you can't get away sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Cool. I could get that little work, but at least try. Put try, your best effort ever try. forward. Because yeah. I'm seeing like slips and bodysuits that's meshed that just <laughs> flatten your stomach so you can put on that dress. Girl, you don't need to be wearing that dress if you can't fit that dress. Okay? Get a bigger dress. Don't get a small. Get, just, get if a you medium. a large, you a large. Yeah, if you a large, you a large. Walk that let's large go, booty on. onto the club. Let's go. And we can work our way down to a medium next summer. Yes. Okay? It doesn't take that long to get, get, get right. Okay? Well, so tell me about this show and when it airs. And I yeah. know it's on Bounce TV. Shout out yeah. to Bounce TV. Yeah. Um, Finding Happy, like she said, is about a 36-year-old woman trying to figure it out. Yeah, that's we it. See her, you know, dealing with guys she shouldn't be dealing with. Um, Pigeon holding a job that she thought would be the stepping stool to her career, but she ends up being stuck in a, a in assistant position. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, we see not only just her trying to find happiness, but we also see her mama trying to find happiness. And her her friend, yeah. And her, and her daddy trying to find happiness. So it's like everybody of all age groups are really trying to figure out 
how to find that space where they can call happy. Yeah. Right. And it's really dope because we're seeing all aspects of it. We're not just seeing this black female. We see the men, too, trying to yeah. figure it out as well. And the elders trying to figure it out yeah. as well. And so it's a common theme. And I think that's what's so beautiful about it. It's not just me. It's not. It's just everybody. Just it's everybody. Everybody's, Everybody's always trying to find happy. Different yeah. stages of your life, like... What made me happy at 21? Now I'm 32. Does, what right. does not make me happy at 32? And I'm constantly changing and evolving right. and growing and finding my happy in every chapter and aspect of my life. So it's so relatable. It's on Bounce TV, you Come guys. Yes. September 24th. It yes. airs on Bounce TV. What is it? 8, Eight 7, seven Central. Okay. <laughs> yep. And, so, and Brown Sugar App. Yes, Brown yes. Sugar App. So every month... So, the day after it airs on Bounce, it'll air on Brown Sugar. That's the app that's associated with um, Bounce. Awesome. You can go on there. I think they have a free promo right now. Too. Yeah. That's dope. For like the 30 yeah. Day trial or something like that. So the Brown yeah. Sugar app, y'all, and Bounce TV. Yes, sir. Get Bounce TV. Yeah, man, get guys. Bounce TV yeah. and make sure you say find the happy and make yeah. sure you uh, replay those Johnsons. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can yeah. see your boy. Yeah, Johnsons you know is on Bounce yeah. TV too. Yeah. So yeah. you I'm can watch me family. and him. Yeah. Let's we'll definitely go there. I appreciate you ladies coming on. I wish I nothing but the best, man. For having us. For sure, for sure. Yeah, it's going so down, funny. man. Find happy, ladies and gentlemen. Woo-hoo. Big Stewart, yes, Lord. Woo-hoo.